Good morning from Nashville. We arrived late last night, so we just went straight to bed. So today is our very first day in Nashville and we have super fun plans for the full, like let's call it a long weekend. So we're here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then flying back to Montreal on Sunday. Today we are gonna explore the city, try a museum, try some good restaurants, walk around, do some shopping, and then we are going to a show tonight at the Bluebird Cafe. So I think it's gonna be a great first day. So it hurts that I've given these reps to a fellow representative of the Liberty Statue. If you said to me that I'm aware, cause I'm a drag from Broadway to Madison Square. Chicken, greens, coleslaw, lemonade, mac and cheese, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> More hot chicken, fries and beer, and a happy husband. Bon appétit. It's not that spicy. Really? We wow. could have done spicier. Really? Well, I was warned yes. so often. I mean, it gets spicier as it comes, but... I was warned everywhere to go spice down, yeah. and I medium is me. Yeah. You could have gone higher. Interesting. We'll have to go back, but it's very good. <laughs> oh yeah, it's very good. Not spicy, right? <laughs> Hello there. We are back at our apartment. We're just taking a little little breather before we get going for the rest of the evening. It's been a great day so far. To give you a quick quick recap. So we had breakfast at Milk and Honey, which was a place that I found was recommended through like Instagram, TikTok, other YouTubers. Very, very cute brunch place. It's in the Gulch. Very good biscuits. I love biscuits. Then we walked towards downtown to the African American Music Museum. I'm gonna put the right name of the museum right here. It was incredible. I think we spent like almost two hours there. The museum was empty, which was very pleasant. We had it to ourselves. It was so entertaining. It was also very interactive, so we could do like little activities there. We recorded some dancing. We sang with like a gospel choir. We recorded like a rap battle. Highly recommend. After that, we walked a little bit on Broadway. I did some shopping. So I went to Booth Barn. My priority on this trip was to get black cowgirl boots. So we got black cowgirl boots. Look at these! Ah! And then we went to grab a drink. We just wanted to get into one of the one of the bars there, so we went to Tootsie's, which I think it's like a very old, like it's been there for a long time type of bar. The beer was good and the singer that was there was very entertaining. So that was nice. Then we had lunch at Hattie B's, which was 
delicious. And now here we are, we're back. We have a little bit of time to chill. And then we need to get ready to go to the Bluebird Cafe. We have tickets for the show at six o'clock. Okay, I think it's time for me to go get ready. So I'll speak to you later. Everybody. It is day two in Nashville and we are on our way to catch a hop on hop off trolley which goes around Nashville so probably the most touristy thing we're gonna do this trip but I think it's a great way to see the city hopefully it was recommended as well by our uber driver last night so <laughs> should be should be nice great way to see the city and hopefully it's a heated trolley so we're not, uh, we're not too cold. Hey guys, so we hop off the trolley close to Germantown and we came here for breakfast. So behind me is called Monel's. It's like a family style dining restaurant. So we sat at a communal table and they just bring your food. It's all you can eat. You don't even order. They have a breakfast and lunch menu. So we had the breakfast one and it was so good. This place was recommended to us through diverse uh, resources on internet and then yesterday our uber driver also recommended we come here and it did not disappoint so good we are so full some of the best fried chicken I've had delicious peach compote pancakes biscuits all the southern food you want so good we met some lovely ladies as well that sat with us so we had a really good time now we're really full so we're gonna hop back on the trolley and keep on going with this beautiful day in Nashville I'm now back downtown, walking towards Lower Broadway. And it's just me. Ben went on to do a studio tour of Third Man Record, but I want to try to get into the Music Row Happy Hour, which is a radio show on the highway on Sirius XM that I listen to every Friday afternoon. It's recorded at Margaritaville on Broadway, so I'm walking towards there. Hopefully, I can get in. Just had a 15 minute nap and took a shower because it's time to go out for the evening. So I'm just gonna get ready. And while I do that, I wanna tell you about today. Do a little day recap. So let's do that. All right, so this morning we went on to take the trolley hop on, hop off, which turned out to be quite fun and a great way to see the city around while we were in a heated, <laughs> moving vehicle and we had breakfast at Monel's which was like a revelation and then after that I went to the music row happy hour Ben while I was doing that was 
doing his own things, touring Jack White's studio. I'm glad we were able to each do our own thing. That's important, you know? You don't need to do everything together all the time when you're on a trip. So I'm glad I was able to go do my thing because I don't think, like the radio show is very fun, but if you don't actually listen to that radio show, then I don't think you care about being there. And tonight we are gonna go hit some of the breweries that are actually around our hotel, eat dinner there, and then we are planning on going to Printer's Alley, which is like a little bit off Broadway, and it's meant to be more blues bar. So that's the plan for the evening, another night out. I'm looking forward to it. It is our third day now in Nashville. It's a bit it's a bit harder this morning. I think we went out last night. We don't have as much sleep <laughs> as we use as we're used to, but that's okay. We're ready to go. It is still very cold. It was meant to warm up to like 14, but now the forecast is that it's going to be a maximum of 8 degrees celsius and right now it's like minus five so still all bundled up we had a plan of like walking around today walking along the river so we're still gonna do that but maybe we're just gonna be a little bit colder so we're gonna go see what saturday mornings are all about in nashville try to go find some coffee some food and we'll see where it takes us Good, but it's you it's taste sour. everything it is sour wow <laughs> huh. so we are at tailgate brewery so far it's really cute they have loads of craft beers it's a brewery and i have a blackberry pb and j beer it's sour beer it's i've never tasted anything like this it's really good it's surprising if you don't like sour beers you're not gonna like it really interesting like you can't taste the peanut butter so good mm. Oh my god, thank you. Mm. This is the taco pizza. Very good. Taste of taco. So we had a great lunch at Tailgate Brewery. Great beer, great food. Now we are walking towards another brewery that I'm forgetting the name of. Bearded Iris. Thank you. Bearded Iris. So we'll see if Iris does have a beard. All of these beer places are in the neighborhood of Germantown, which so far I'm quite enjoying the vibes of. However, it seems like it's only houses and beer, which I guess is not a bad thing. So let's go try Beer to Iris. So good. It looks like a big grapefruit juice. So I got the Mood Ring beer, which is a fruity IPA. It's delicious. Bearded Iris was great. Delicious beer, fun vibes. We are now heading 
towards the 12 South neighborhood for some shopping. I'm gonna show you what I got. We got a Yeehaw sticker and a mug that is wrapped, so I'm gonna unwrap it. <laughs> it says, pour yourself a cup of ambition. That's for me, ambition girl. Go. What was it? King Kong? Yeah. Tiramisu and chocolate sea salt? Yeah. I'll try the tiramisu one. It said there was a cre coffee cream inside. Okay. Yeah. This is incredible. Was it's cute, almost right? like a cruffin or cronut texture. This is amazing. It's time to go out. So we've had a full day. And we came back to our apartment quickly, got ourselves together, changed, because tonight we are going to the Opry. <gasps> so excited, such an important part of the country culture. So we have that plan for the evening, and then I think we're just gonna go out and enjoy this last evening in Nashville. <laughs> It is our last day here in Nashville. We have to catch our flight at like three o'clock, so we're not gonna do much today. We're just packing right now, getting everything ready. It's been such, such a wonderful trip. The city is just so fun and it's a bit different than what I had expected. It's not just about country music, it's about music in general. Then again, there's a great food scene, there's a great breweries, so many different vibes depending on where you are. Just before I wrap this up, I just wanted to recap a little bit last night. Ben and I went to the Grand Ole Opry and it was such a great show. We have a bunch 
of different artists that come. After that, we came back into town and we went to Assembly Food Hall, which is like a big food court. And after that, we went honky tonking. So Saturday night, the street was buzzing. It was so busy. People were out partying. And it's just so fun because it's free to go in, right? So you can just go in. If you like it, you stay. If you don't, you get out. Great to tip though. That's really like the best practice. So it's free to go in. You, it's encouraged to drink, of course, and then to tip the band. So I much prefer to tip the band directly than to pay a fee and not really knowing where the money is going. So bring cash when you come to Nashville, because uh, then you can tip the band easily. I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to book and to plan your Nashville trip. I honestly recommend it to anybody that likes music in general. Doesn't matter the type of music you like. If you like music, live music, come. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It makes such a big difference for me. And subscribe to my channel. I have so many more trips coming up in 2023. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.